Okay, so. Yeah. Like, who couldn't use a bit more fun in their lives? Right. It's like everything's deadlines, to-do lists, this yeah. pressure to be on all the time. But what if we could rediscover that playful part of ourselves? And not just on vacation, but like every single day. And you know, it's interesting. It's actually more than just a mood booster. Research shows that making time for fun, it's not frivolous, it's important mm -hmm. for our well-being. Less stress, sharper thinking, even a, a healthier heart. A healthier heart. Sign me up. So we're diving into 50 journal prompts for those seeking fun. It's from Lestallion's blog. Yeah. But before you think we're getting all journaly, these prompts are more like fun-finding tools, you know. We'll pull out the most interesting ones, not just for journaling, but for practical ways to bring more joy into everyday life. And what I find interesting is how these prompts are set up. They're in five categories. Fun adventures, your fun memories, fun reflections, planning for fun, and creative fun. Each one helps us look at what makes life enjoyable in different ways, like a treasure map. But instead of gold, we're after those golden moments of pure fun. And now you're talking my language. <laughs> and speaking of adventures, one prompt that stood out to me was, describe your ideal adventure day. Mm -hmm. I'm already daydreaming. What yep. about you? What would your perfect adventure day look like? It's such a smart prompt because it uses the power of visualization. When we really imagine ourselves experiencing something we enjoy, it actually activates similar pathways in our brain as if it was really happening. It doesn't just improve our mood, but it motivates us to turn those daydreams into reality. Makes sense to me. I'm all for turning daydreams into reality. So picture this. My ideal adventure day starts with a sunrise hike, maybe somewhere with a view of a mountain range ending at a secluded waterfall. I love how you're using sensory details. The sight of the sunrise, the sound of the waterfall, it makes the visualization stronger. I didn't even realize I was doing that. Okay, so after the hike, I'd head to a cozy cafe in a charming town I've never been to, maybe a place with cobblestone streets and unique little shops. Interesting you chose to explore somewhere new. Novelty is a big part of what makes things fun. It keeps our brains engaged and interested. So that's a good point. Okay, so after exploring the town, Maybe doing a bit of shopping, I'd meet up with friends for dinner at a restaurant with live music. You know the kind that makes you want to get up and dance. It sounds like you put a lot of thought into this. And this actually connects to another prompt from the list. What is your happiest childhood memory? It might seem like a jump, but it relates to the power of nostalgia. Nostalgia. Tell me more. We tend to think of nostalgia as just thinking about the past, but research shows that remembering happy memories, especially those with strong sensory details, it can really impact our mood and well-being in the present. Think about it. Those carefree childhood days. They often have a magic and simplicity we crave as adults. You know, that reminds me of spending summers at the lake with family, mm. building sandcastles and chasing fireflies. Those memories always make me smile. Exactly. And research actually shows that even scheduling a few minutes a day to remember a joyful memory can really reduce stress hormones, like a mini vacation for your mind. So taking a joy break by remembering those carefree days could actually help deal with the stress of adulting. That's incredible. But it does make you wonder, how do we even define fun? It's different for everyone, right? What's fun for one person might be boring for someone else. 100%. And that's where the prompts in the fun reflections category are helpful. They encourage us to think beyond just activities and look deeper at what truly brings us joy personally. One prompt that really makes you think is, when do you feel most alive? That's a really good question. It goes beyond just listing fun things to do. It's about those moments when we're completely present and engaged and energized. Mm -hmm. Yes. And this connects to the idea of flow state or being in the zone. It's that state of being totally absorbed in something where we lose track of time yep. and experience effortless concentration and enjoyment. Think about a time you were so into something that you loved that the outside world just disappeared. Like when I'm writing a song that's going really well. Yeah. Or completely lost in a great book. Uh. Those times when you lose track of time because you're so engaged in what you're doing. And it doesn't have to be something big and dramatic either. Sometimes flow is about the rhythm of cooking, the feeling of getting organized, or even a really good conversation. So finding those things, even the everyday stuff. Yeah. That make us lose track of time because we're so engaged. Exactly. And a lot of times, these activities tap into what's called intrinsic motivation, that drive to do something just because it feels good and rewarding, not for some external reward or validation. It makes me think of another interesting prompt. What hobby brings you the most joy? Oh, that one definitely speaks to me. And it's a good reminder that 
hobby doesn't have to mean something fancy or expensive. Mm -hmm. It's anything you're drawn to just because you love it, right? Exactly. It could be gardening, playing music, collecting stamps, writing poetry. It's all about that pure joy of creation and discovery or simply being present. And what's beautiful about intrinsic motivation is it's a source of lasting joy, something we can tap into even when life gets busy. So it's not about waiting for vacation to have fun. It's about looking for ways to bring those joyful moments into our daily routines. Yeah. Which actually leads us to the planning for fun prompts. I love how this section encourages us to be proactive about fun instead of just hoping it'll happen. It's about making that shift from passive to active, which is so important for building any new habit. Instead of thinking, I'll relax when I have time, it's about asking, how can I bring a little fun into my day right now? Such a good point. One prompt that really caught my eye was, how can you make everyday tasks more enjoyable? Mm. Because let's face it, we all have those chores and responsibilities we can't avoid. But maybe, just maybe, we can make them a little less painful. Absolutely. It's all about perspective and making small but meaningful changes. For example, I used to dread grocery shopping, but then I started listening to my favorite podcast during the trip. And it actually became something I looked forward to. That's awesome. I've started doing something similar while I clean. I put on some music and let myself dance while I tidy up. It makes the whole experience so much better. Plus, it's like bonus cardio. You got it. It's all about finding those little things that turn a chore into a more positive experience. It doesn't need to be anything complicated. Another prompt asks, how would you spend a fun day with $100? It challenges us to be resourceful and realize that fun doesn't have to cost a fortune. So true. Some of my favorite memories are about the simple things. A picnic in the park. Exploring a new part of town on foot, trying out a new coffee shop. Sometimes the most enjoyable things are the ones that are easy and affordable. You're getting at something really important. Fun is often about intention and being open to playfulness. Speaking of which, that takes us to our final category, creative fun. These prompts encourage us to connect with our inner child and approach fun with a sense of curiosity and imagination. This is my favorite section. It's like giving ourselves permission to be silly again and explore those what-if scenarios we might usually ignore as adults, like this one. If you could invent a fun new holiday, what would it celebrate? I love it. It reminds us that fun isn't just about passively watching TV or scrolling online. It's about actively creating and taking part in experiences that spark joy. It's not just about making new holidays, though. That does sound fun. But it's more about bringing that playful attitude, you know, that childlike wonder, into our everyday lives. Exactly. And actually, there's a lot of research now about the benefits of play for grown-ups too. Playing and being playful. It reduces stress, improves your mood, helps with problem solving, and can even boost your creativity. So it's not just goofing off, although I'm all for a little bit of that. Yeah. There are real benefits to tapping into that playful part of ourselves. Definitely. It's about letting ourselves try new things being a bit silly, not taking ourselves so seriously all the time. This prompt really gets at that. What's something creative and fun you've always wanted to make? Oh, I like that one. Could be anything, like writing a story or learning an instrument or finally doing that DIY project you've been putting off. Yeah, it's about that human urge to create and explore, the one we often forget about as we get caught up in life. It's easy to get stuck in a routine and forget about the things that bring us joy. This prompts a good reminder to make time for those things again. And remember, it doesn't need to be perfect or something you'd post online. The joy comes from creating and experimenting and expressing yourself. It's about giving ourselves permission to play, to try things out, to make a little mess. Yeah. And see what we can do. Exactly. Okay, so before we wrap up our deep dive into all things fun, I want to leave you with a final thought. I'm listening. Thinking about all these prompts, the question I want you to ask yourself is, what one small thing will you do today to add a little bit of fun to your life? It can be something simple, like putting on some music and dancing in your kitchen, calling a friend who makes you laugh, or cooking a new recipe. The important thing is to choose joy, even in the smallest moments. I love that. It's a good reminder that we don't need a special occasion or a vacation to have fun. We have the power to choose it right now. So until next time, go out there and have some fun.